DOT rules about fire extinguishers you may not know. Still on my hazmat load, heading to the mystery southwest somewhere. And SD card issues, they're too damn small! And more on this episode of... The Clutch Trucker Channel! Clutch Trucker, filmed before a live and furry studio audience. That is Rusty, the world famous meatball dog. Hey YouTube, Clutch Trucker here. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of the Clutch Trucker Channel. Yes, uh, as you can tell, I'm driving into the sun. I'm driving west, somewhere in Kansas. Heading to the southwest. Uh, oh, I meant to plug in that microphone to see if that helps. Let me try that here. Okay, have my external mic plugged in. Let's see if that helps while I'm driving. Uh, somebody had suggested that, so I thought I'd give that a shot. They said do a lapel one. I had a wireless lapel one that I tried for a while. It just it didn't work very well. The sound wasn't very good. So I'll have to look more into that. But there you go. Okay, so yes, yeah, somewhere in Kansas on the way to the southwest of this hazmat load. And somebody did ask, why can't I disclose that? And that's all thanks to the terrorists from, you know, 9-11 and all that. Um, because you don't want to disclose where you're at so that somebody can maybe track you down and follow you and steal your stuff that could possibly be used to make some sort of bomb or something. That's the whole point in that. So that's why that's a regulation. Uh, so you shouldn't disclose where you are. Now I can say once the load's over I can talk about it all I want. But since I'm on, in the middle of this one I can't really disclose a lot. So that's why. Uh, did get another load already. Mark got, me, Mark got me one to get home. Uh, back to Denver area. So uh, that'll get me home for next week. So I can get a lot of things done. Reload the truck. Uh, do a couple of other little things around the house. And, pick up my lead pass I talked about all that in the last video so all stuff that I'll be doing that sun is just so obnoxious today but uh, and unfortunately I can't get rusty groomed like I talked about that in the other video but uh, I was talking to Mark over the weekend and one thing uh, he did mention is make sure my fire extinguisher is regulation and uh, mounted properly and it can't have anything within six inches around it and I realized my fire extinguisher was just uh, sitting in there because the mount had broken. So I went and stopped at uh, Freightliner in Troy, Illinois today. I can talk about that because that was a long time ago. I'm nowhere near that now. And they had uh, the kind for the truck with a mount, 23 bucks. Can't beat that. They also had gloves on sale. Got some more gloves. Got some more of these. Uh, little gaskets for the glad hands that you hook the truck and trailer together with those are always wearing out or you lose one 30 cents a pop baby they're like four or five bucks for a pair of them at a truck stop so loaded up on some of those got some stuff so uh, there you go got the fire extinguisher mounted I'll show you some uh, pictures of that so now we're all completely legal so because that's one thing they check especially with the hazmat loads you gotta have that has to be a class 10 B and C and so this one is nice that it was only $23 you can't beat that baby all right well yeah like I said I can't it's so, so hard for me not to talk about where I am and what I'm doing exactly because I'm, I'm too used to doing that in my videos but you know anyway <laughs> so that's one adjustment we've had to make but uh, that's okay. So, uh, I'll probably be throwing up two videos tonight. Uh, I did record some because now my other dash cam's working again now that I got the new SD card in it, and it has the time lapse feature. So I thought I'd do uh, some time lapse, and it'll be a separate video going through um, the St. Louis area early this morning. So that'll be sponsored by Rusty, so you can look for that one. And amazingly, I didn't catch any idiots and asshats doing stupid stuff in front of me today. That's and I, I've been, it's over 600 miles I've been driving today. So 
than I will have been driving once I get parked. So that is so unusual to not catch the idiots and assets. I'm dumbfounded. Yep, so now I'm completely legal with that fire extinguisher. Didn't realize that was a rule, but apparently it is. So drivers, if you need to know, uh, it can't be uh, blocked by anything. It has to be mounted. It can be by your seat or like in the back box, but it has to be mounted, that fire extinguisher, and can't have crap around it. You can't have stuff on top of it. It's got to be open within six inches all around it to be completely legal. So in a, in a previous video, you know how I ordered a new SD card so I could, uh, because SD cards, especially those micro ones, don't last forever. And in these rec scenes where they're constantly recording over and over and over, my older uh, dash cam has the, the time lapse feature, which I loved. But, um, you know, the, the, it kept saying, you know, memory card full, memory card full. I'm like, it's not full. Well, it, they go bad after a while when they've been written over so many times. But they're only like 16 bucks on Amazon for 128 gig. SD card. So I got the new one, I put it in, it's been working great. That's how I uh, was able to do the uh, stuff for that time-lapse video, which is also going to be posted tonight. Uh, but as I was, I took the SD cards out, put them into my little adapter, where is it, right here. This has been great, because it makes it so much faster to transfer stuff than doing it over the Wi-Fi. Well, I put the SD card back into my main one, and you got to shove it in with your thumbnail and make sure you get it. I thought I had it all the way in, I guess I didn't. When I put it back up in the window, it apparently sprung back out. And because they're so freaking tiny, I couldn't find it. I lost it. So I had to order uh, another one. So I ordered two more because they're only 16 bucks a piece on Amazon. So they'll be waiting for me at the house. But now I'm down one SD card. But um, I'm here in an undisclosed area somewhere in Kansas. Uh, and I did see there's a, a Walmart across the road. So I'll go over and buy another one tomorrow, and then I'll have backups. I'm, I'm all about backups for everything. Light bulbs, wiring, everything. So that if DOT ever gives you crap, you can say, hey, I got a spare right here. Hey, thank you, Mr. DOT. So I'll go get one tomorrow so I can make sure both are running again. I want to have both running at all times. You know, because you never know what people are going to do in front of you. And if you don't uh, anticipate that, they're going to do some stupid move, and you won't catch it and they'll try to blame you, right? There you go. Oh, and uh, another driver uh, who works for uh, Whitestone's Logistics, I won't say his name in case he doesn't want me to, just called me today. He bought a Rexing dash cam. He bought the one that has the second camera. Um, it's made for cars, so, you're, so you can put one up in your rear window. And he said, well, what do I do with that second camera? And I'm like, don't have a clue for you there, buddy, because I just have the one with the single uh, thing. But Rexing makes one with a second camera for like only like 20 bucks more. Um, and I don't know if it's weatherproof, but if it is, I suggested if you can somehow mount it to the bottom of your mirror on your driver's side and catch all the idiots and ass wagons who are whipping her up around you and all that crap, uh, that would help. So I'll have to talk to him again another day or two and see what he ended up doing with that. That's why I just got the ones that only have the front view uh, like I say, 99 bucks for the uh, Rexing V1 4K and $49 for the V1, what used to be called V1 Generation 3, now the V1 Basic, uh, which still has that time lapse feature on it. That's what I like about it. Uh, so I, you know, I like to double up. I like to make sure I'm covered because people are idiots. People are ass wipes. They will do crap in front of you and then try to blame you. And if you don't have it on video, it's your word against them, and you're the big, awful, evil truck driver. Oh, 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 oh. Who are the cops going to believe? Cover your butt. Well, thanks for tuning in for that one. Not a lot to say in this one. Uh, you know, like I say, I, I've got to get too used to the fact that I, I can't talk about the load I'm on if it's a hazmat one like it is right now. And because this one's taking days, you know, I'll be able to talk about it afterwards. I can talk about that next load I'm picking up going to Denver. Uh, I can't say where I'm picking it up because that would give too much away, but, you know, because that one's not a hazmat load. Uh, you know, downside is going to that Kroger, but gets me home. What are you going to do? Right, Rusty? You all right there, buddy? <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe. Please like and comment. I get to your comments. Sometimes it takes a day or two because I'm a working truck driver. Uh, don't forget to uh, like and uh oh and ring that bell that's what i mean yeah don't forget to ring that bell for notifications so you know when the new videos come out 
There's Clutch Trucker on Instagram, Clutch Trucker on Twitter, usually rusty stuff on that. And as always, sniff that magic YouTube fairy dust, Clutch and Rusty, out. But the worst thing is, me, fatty, sideburns lady, and the mutants at table nine have no better way to better our situation. Because apparently we have nothing to offer the opposite sex. You are the worst wedding singer in the world, buddy! Sir, if you interrupt me one more time, I'm going to strangle you with my microphone wire. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, all over that, baby. Yeah. And why, you ask? Oh, if you don't know by now, because he's a beg and strip dog. He's a beg and strip dog. Sometimes he eats too fast and he starts to cough. He's a beg and strip dog. There's another piece for you. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Love it, love it, love it. Alrighty, good.